Hello everybody, and welcome back to Shay's Hobby Dock Bay. Don't mind how I look. Today's not been a good day for me. I have been hurting. I didn't feel too good today. I stayed in all day in PJs, basically in my bedroom. I even laid down a lot while watching videos. But, um, I'm in my bedroom now, sitting on the side of my bed. I have my tray right here. Y'all are sitting on my tray. <laughs> um, <sighs> I decided... It's kind of late at night. It's Wednesday night. Hubby went to church. Elizabeth's in her room. Um, I am fixing to try something new that I have never tried before. And I thought I would do that with y'all on video. So let's have us a taste test, okay? It's one item. Okay, and it is someone's fault. Some Somebody I'm sub to and that I watch their videos regularly every day <laughs> now they have a weird name so I am not going to be able to say it I don't know how to say it I don't know how to pronounce it and it's long too but it's a family a mom and a dad and they have 10 kids and they what when I first found them and started watching them and they was living in this big, fine house. Okay, and I can't remember what country it was in, but it was in another country. They're not in the USA. And then, shortly after... Sorry, I know that's my light and my fan up there. That's why I got y'all pointed like that. Um, Shortly after I had started watching them, they sold that house. And they bought them a motor home. And all of them... Well, I say all... Their oldest, well, and I've been saying oldest because that just seems like that's the way it should be. But how do I know he's the oldest child? He might be the second or third child, you know? I don't know, but one of their sons is married. So he don't live in their household anymore. So it's mom and dad and nine kids. And they moved into that motor home. And they're living, they're traveling in that motor home. They're traveling and going to a bunch of different countries. And, you know, they're seeing countries and doing different things they have been wanting to do. But, they are moving to... It's one of those A words. It's either because I know there's two that to me sounds so similar. But they're two different ones. One is Australia and the other is Austria, I think. That's how I say them anyway. So, <clears throat> they're moving to one of them. Once they get through with their traveling, they're moving there. And they'll be buying another house, I think, and moving in the house there. But, they are a minimalist family. They all wear just white. White t-shirts. And black jeans or whatever. Shorts. Leggings, whatever. They did that in their house. They just have, I think, one dish for everybody. You know, like one plate, one spoon, one glass, one cup, whatever. They're very minimalist. That's how they live. They did that in their home before they got into the motor home. And, um, and they eat healthy. I think, I think they don't eat meat. Or maybe they eat a little bit of meat. Now, they eat pizzas. But I know there's like vegetarian pizzas and stuff, veggie pizzas out there. I don't just know exactly that on that part. But anyway, so don't take my word for that. But they do eat healthy. And on this trip in their motorhome going around, they have been opening cans of beans. Now, they say they're organic. And I would have thought that organic wouldn't even be in a can at all, you know. But... Just wait. So, they open these cans of beans and stuff. And they eat it just like that. They don't cook it. They don't heat it up. They just eat the beans. They'll even... I've seen them, like, holding a can and be eaten out of the can of beans. So, anyway... They have introduced me to a new food that I didn't even know existed like this. They get cans, and it's all organic, like I said, of chickpea beans. Now, mind you, I knew 
that, and I'm, I call it all peanuts. If it's a walnut, if it's a pecan, yeah, I know their differences, what they look like, and I know what they are, and I do say a pecan, a walnut, but to me, they're all nuts, right? So I just say they're all peanuts, or a type of peanut, you know? So I know that there's a peanut called chickpea, okay? And I have ate those, and I like those. And maybe that's what these used to be, and they cooked them and cooked them and cooked them and somehow turned them into a bean. I don't know how that part works, but I didn't know that they were chickpea beans. And they would show it in their plate. They make like this big piled up salad, and they have the chickpeas in it. They'll have olives in it. Oh, they make it look so good. And so the other day, me and hubby, you know, I, I figured that, you know, we probably here in the USA don't have those. Because, like I said, I'm naive. I've been naive all my life. Still naive and will stay naive until I die. <laughs> I never learn fully everything and understand everything. So, anyway. um, I figured USA didn't have the chickpea beans. But the other day, me and hubby went to the store. And we was doing some grocery shopping. And I was looking on the shelves with the cans of beans. And lo and behold, guess what I seen? I seen some chickpea beans. <laughs> and guess what else? I seen a can that said organic. But they had cans that wasn't organic too. <laughs> so guess what I did? I bought one can, I bought one can of the organic, and I bought one can of the not organic. And I said, I am going to try these. So that's what I'm fixing to try. So what I have done, I wanted to try the organic first, okay, to see what they were like. And I read the back of the can, and it said to heat it up on the stovetop. You can also do it in the microwave, but I didn't want to do the microwave. I wanted to do the stovetop. Now, it just said, you know, you just heat it up to simmer, but I turn mine up, and I let it get real hot. I let it boil. I don't know if you ain't supposed to do that. I don't know if it burns them, messes them up, or makes them where you ain't supposed to eat them or something. I don't know. But anyway, it didn't say to add anything to it, like salt or anything like that, but I put salt in mine because I salt everything like that a little bit that I eat. I don't use as much salt as Albert and Elizabeth does, but I use a little salt. So I did that. So I have have them in a bowl here. So I have only opened the one can, the organic ones, and I'm going to try them and then at another time. And I hope I'll be able to tell by doing it separately and spaced out. Normally, I think that I would need the organic ones sitting here, the not organic ones sitting here, take a bite of the organic and then take a bite right after of the not organic to be able to tell a difference in the taste but maybe i can you know i don't know so but that's what i want to do i want to try the ones that are not organic too and see which ones i like the best or whatever but let me show you i'm going to pick y'all up and show y'all into the bowl if i can where's the camera is it all the way on it i can't tell so that's what they look like okay so actually I've got some here on my spoon so we're gonna do this thing I hope that I like them I hope that they are real good <laughs> And they're actually soft like a bean. That is just so surprising to me. And all of y'all are probably laughing at me. Y'all all probably know about these already. Like I said, I'm naive. I'm slow to come to learn about things. <laughs> but it's very surprising. It's not hard like a peanut. <laughs> they're soft. Mm. And I'm not a bean person. I like them. They're good. Now, they could take a little more salt, I think. Mmm. 
but they take you know what it reminds me of that's what it there was a yes that's what it's reminding me of oh my word because when I start mushing it and mashing into it real good it don't have that taste but it's just reminding me because it's soft like that it's reminding me of boiled peanuts <laughs> so maybe they do take the real nut chickpea and boil it and cook it till it makes it into a bean i don't know but they're calling it a bean it says bean on the can and i'm not a bean person well i say i'm not a bean person I don't like lima beans. Now, I eat them. My husband, oh, he loves lima beans, and he gets them all the time. So, I do eat them. But I really don't care for them, and I could live without them. Anyway, so, I don't like butter beans either. But I do like not just butter beans or whatever other kind it would be called, but I know that there is one that is called a speckled butter bean. Now, those I like. Okay, I like baked beans better than pork and beans, but I still don't want to just, I don't eat a lot of baked beans or pork and beans. I eat both, but anyway, okay, the, let's see, what other kind of beans do they have? The kidney beans or the red beans, what do they call them? When we do sausage, rice and sausage and red beans, I guess we call it red beans, don't we? But it's kidney beans, I guess. I like them in that dish. The red beans and rice is what it's called, with sausage in it, in it. I like that dish, but just to sit down to a bowl or a plate of red beans or kidney beans, nope, I don't want to do that. I'm not a bean person. Uh, so I've tried several beans. Now, I do, they have black beans. Is that what it's called, black beans? They look black, and they're called black in them. I guess it's black beans. I do like them once I tried them a while back. Um, so anyway, I'm not a bean person, but I like these. Like I said, they could take a little more salt. Mm. I'm so glad. I am going to, I found something new to eat. I'm going to start buying these and eating them a lot. Um, I'm even, <coughs> like I said, I got another can. But it's not organic, so I want to try that and see if I can tell the difference between the two. I've read the can, and the organic can don't even have any ingredient list on it. But the one that's not organic does have an ingredients list on it like everything else does. Okay, but! Stop it! Sorry, y'all. Um, so, uh, when I open the other can later to try it before i cook it i'm actually going to take a little bit out and t taste it like that plain because i guess it's okay i always thought you know you gotta cook it before you don't kind of like you're eating it raw like i said i'm naive see what i mean oh if y'all only knew at the things that i have been through my life naive about y'all would peer d laugh anyway <laughs> so I'm, I want to try it like they were eating it. Just kind of, of course, they had a lot of other stuff piled with it. But I want to try it just out of the can before it's heated up and see if I like it like that. But then I'll heat it up on the stove in a pot like I did this one and try it that way too. Because I want to see if I can tell the difference. I should have tried these before I heated them up, but I didn't think about it then. But I want to do that and try those out. And when I do, I'll let y'all know. That I'm trying them. I may come on and do another little video about it. And uh, I'll let you know which one I like the best. And which way I like it. Cooked or uncooked. Another time I'm going to have to get the organic and try it uncooked. There we go. Alright. Well, this video ended up being 14 minutes long. I didn't know it was going to take that long. I just thought it was going to be a quick little short video. But oh well, there you go. <laughs> okay. If y'all have never ate chickpea beans, go get you some and try them. They're good. I love them. Alright, I am. Out of here until the next time I'm done, I'm going to the loo-hoo.